Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you um, some of the features that are available uh, in your class. Um, whenever a class is created, uh, for example, we have the English 11 period 1 course under the general tab here. We have um, things that we um, are shown by default, meaning that they, as soon as you create a class, or they, these show up. Um, first one is conversations. If you wanted to have a conversation in your class online, you can do that. Um, this is only within members of your class. You can start a conversation. Here you can compose um, uh, some text. You can attach a file. You can use smiley faces. Uh, you can use a sticker if you wanted to, or you can just uh, start meeting now with Skype for Business. So that's the Conversations tab. Now, the next tab is Files. This is where you can share files in this channel or any everyone that can work together on files, you can do that here. Underneath the Files, you have General, and then here you can create a new file, a folder, Word document, Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoint within this um, channel here in the files. You can also upload. So if you have a um, syllabus or you have um, different things that you wanted to use for classroom guidelines, anything about your class, you can upload into here. And everyone will be able to see that that's in the class. You can also get a link. Whenever you click get a link, you can have a link to this class, so you can send out a link. Also, there are other features here. Uh, within the files, you can open up in SharePoint, or you can add cloud storage within your files of your class. For example, you can use Dropbox, Google Drive, Share Drive, Box, Dropbox, or SharePoint. So that's the Files tab. The next one is Class Notebook tab within your class. This notebook has not been set up yet, but I just wanted to show you what it does. You can, For the first time, you can set up class notebook. Now class notebook would be like OneNote, but they call it class notebook. Um, in here, this is what you get in class notebook. You can have this class notebook within each of your classes that you would be creating. You can have a collaboration space, and it will tell you that the teacher can edit the content student can edit the content. You have a content library where you can publish course materials to students. Uh, the teacher can edit the content and student can only view the content. Or you can create student notebooks for a private space for each student. Teacher can edit the content, but the students can edit his or own content but cannot view other students' notebooks. So that's what the class notebook is. And you can go through that wizard. Maybe if there's some interest in, um, in folks to learn more about this, we can dive into this more. And you can, if you dive into it on your own, that would be great if you could share some different things with me. But to keep it simple for now, we're, gonna just, we're going to just go over the tabs that are here. And the next one we're going to be going over which is the important one within your class is creating assignments. Here, inside this assignments tab, you can create, uh, uh, you can easily create manage assignments for your whole class. So if you have an assignment that you're going to give to a whole class, you can. Uh, this is where you would first make your new assignments and then send them off. In the next video, what we're going to do. Is I'm going to show you how to create a basic assignment. Thank you.